why God wants you to move forward. You know, God really wants you to move forward in life, in your business, in your marriage, and in all that you do. Before we delve into the depths of God's wisdom concerning human growth and progress, let us first humble ourselves before our Heavenly Father in prayer. Almighty and Everlasting Father, the King of Glory, we come before you today with hearts full of gratitude and reverence. We thank you for the precious gift of life, and for granting us the privilege to gather here today. Heavenly Father, as we embark on this journey to explore your divine will for our growth, we humbly ask for deliverance and freedom for all those whose progress has been hindered by unseen forces. Open the eyes of those who are unaware of the hindrances holding them back from moving forward. We offer this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. God wants you to move forward. We know and understand from the scripture that God's will for us is continual upward, and where this is not the case, God is not happy. As a matter of fact, God is not happy when we are not making progress. We find in the scriptures a consistent theme of God's desire for our advancement and continual upward journey. He longs to see us make progress, and it grieves Him when we remain stagnant. Deuteronomy chapter 1, from verses 6 to 8 reveals God's heart as it says. The Lord our God spoke to us at Horeb, saying, You have stayed long enough on this mountain. Turn and resume your journey, and go to the hill country of the Amorites, and to all their neighbors in the Arabah, in the hill country and in the lowland, the Shafila, in the Negev, south country, and on the coast of the Mediterranean, see, the land of the Canaanites, and Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates. Look, I have set the land before you, go in and take possession of the land which the Lord swore, solemnly promised, to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give to them and to their descendants after them. God's instruction to the Israelites is clear, you have stayed long enough on this mountain. He wants them to move forward, to venture into the promised land and embrace the abundance He has prepared for them. In Exodus 14 verse 15, we witness God's displeasure with stagnation once again as He speaks to Moses, saying, Why do you cry to me? Tell the children of Israel to go forward. Did you catch that? The Lord Himself does not support stagnancy or the absence of forward movement. He commands the Israelites to progress. Stagnation leads to extinction and defeat, while movement, particularly forward movement, brings about balance and stability in our lives. Consider this, a moving bicycle or motorcycle maintains its balance effortlessly, while a stationary one teeters and eventually falls. In much the same way, when we fail to make progress, we lose our equilibrium, and the likelihood of stumbling becomes inevitable. God understands this inherent truth, and that is precisely why He commands us to be in constant motion. He desires us to move forward in every aspect of our lives, whether it be in our personal growth, our businesses, our marriages, or our families. In the New Testament, 3 John chapter 1, verse 2 reminds us of God's ultimate desire for His people. Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health, just as your soul prospers. This verse reveals that all-encompassing prosperity is at the top of God's agenda for His children. He desires prosperity not only in our physical well-being but also in our spiritual, emotional, and material realms. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that anything hindering your progress and prosperity is hereby cursed. I decree and declare upward movement for you, in the name of Jesus Christ. To those who feel stagnant and suppressed, I command you, 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, to break free from your chains and move forward. I curse the root of stagnancy, backwardness, slavery, and servitude in your life, home, and businesses, in the powerful and miraculous name of Jesus Christ. To those who have been held captive by illness and poor health, I decree divine health and restoration in the name of Jesus Christ. And for those who have faced satanic and demonic oppressions, I decree deliverance and liberation, in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, I pray for supernatural speed and acceleration for all those listening today. May they recoup in a day what they have lost over the years. Grant them the speed that allows them to achieve breakthroughs and successes in a single day, that others may have taken years to attain. I offer this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for the revelation of your truth. May it resonate deep within our souls and ignite a passion for continuous growth and progress. Let us move forward boldly, knowing that it is your will for our lives. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.